All right, leave it to a fat guy to daydream a little bit. You come up with this cheeseburger Pop-Tarts. And I guess the trick here is going to be doing them on the grill. Actually, first I'm going to be preparing the meat mixture for inside the cheeseburger just in a cast iron skillet. So you can do this on the grill if you want, but basically it's just heating it up. And uh, for that, you're going to need about a half pound of really lean ground beef, uh, a tablespoon of minced onion, and one tablespoon of steak seasoning to make it all come together and just really taste savory inside. Stir it up, just brown it off, and then set it aside for later. This is a pretty unique recipe, and so as far as the other ingredients I added to the meat mixture, a Monterey Jack and Colby cheese blend, about a cup of that, and all about eight slices of American cheese. I use, I use regular American cheese here, used white American in the book, doesn't really matter. A little egg wash to seal the edges and some hamburger dill pickles. And yeah, this involves baking, so consider this kind of a, a poor man's beef wellington. Maybe it's more of an upscale hot pocket, I don't know. Uh, this dough, I've tried different doughs when we did it and recruited the help of my wife, MJ. You can see that's not my jewelry there, that's hers. But we tried uh, phyllo dough, we tried pie crust dough before finally settling on these rectangular sheets of pizza dough, like in the tube. It was the way to go. Got the best results using Pillsbury's refrigerated pizza dough. And whatever you do, start with it really chilled and then just layer it off. Use a little egg wash and put the mixtures in each. So we're gonna make about six different tarts, pop tarts, and it's really pretty simple. Constructing these, are it's kind of delicate, so you're really just making each one, just cut them like raviolis here, and this is where it gets really tricky, and hopefully you're still dealing with cold dough. You can, uh, we started to like seal the edges, but Really the best thing was to use the parchment paper and actually cut with a kitchen shear or just a regular scissors in between each one of the pies. That's it. And then you'll use the parchment paper to be able to place it directly on the grill. Use a fork, you can seal up the edges. And if you want details on how to do that, I suggest you go to Fork U. Just kidding. Uh, brush it, use some sesame seeds. Actually, I think the sesame seeds at the best touch of all. And actually, you might want to use some sesame seed underneath uh, on top of the parchment paper to keep it from sticking. If you didn't catch all the ingredients and exactly how to, I've got the full ingredient list, the full recipe here in my new wood pellet grill focused cookbook, the ultimate wood pellet grill smoker cookbook. So you're gonna treat it delicately here and just kind of use the parchment paper and flip it onto the grill. I've got it set at about 325. It can uh, go for about five minutes on each side. Really, you're just gonna have to watch it because baking on pellet grills is pretty delicate. So you're gonna watch it, just watch for it to just turn a little bit. After about five minutes, start to turn brown. And so you just gotta watch it. Give it as much time as it needs. Again, the inside is cooked, so you're really just finishing off the outsides and getting it just a little bit crispy. So I called it the Cheeseburger Pop-Tarts. The editors got hold of it. It is called in the book, Cheeseburger Hand Pies. Same thing, uh, 100 plus recipes, all done here for the wood pellet grill. And the Cheeseburger Pop-Tart Hand Pie is just one. That's it. A hand pie, a poor man's beef wellington, a Cheeseburger Pop-Tart is what I call it. And it's one of my favorite dishes. Take a little extra time, serve it with a little ketchup and uh, mustard, and that's it. Check it out now on Amazon, the Ultimate Wood Pellet Grill Smoker Cookbook. If you've got a pellet grill, you're gonna love it. This one's not on right now, otherwise I wouldn't be leaving it on. Hope you like it, and for more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, check it out at www.barbecuetricks.com.